what's up guys so today um we're back with another video so first of all we have the wax nail avatar hd pro kit we got this like about a month ago and we haven't used it yet as you can see right here of course and so we're gonna use it on this new um pavo series um book drone but this was originally for the dji 3 but then they released a wax nail one which is for this one so yep that's pretty cool and it's beta fev if i haven't mentioned that so yeah so here's the drone itself it looks like a cine whoop so it goes Wee! and if you, as you can see it's like pre-built semi-built there's already the es the flight controller and there's already motors and then the props let me see wait um it's 1102 motors i don't know what that means but it's a motor okay and we have the plug here and let me show you guys one thing we have a free beta fpv 450 uh, mah battery yep right there it's pretty cool so um now as you can see there's this there's this thing here and which can plug to here it's like somewhere there right. it's like somewhere there so it's this is basically like a plug and play but you're just going to need to mount this this thing and for some reason there's another one i don't know and the wax nail comes with this caddex fpv camera so it should be good so yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed the build. We'll do it in this video. And yep, yeah, let's go! Um, the wax nail comes with an antenna, but it's too long and it's too big for the frame of the um, Pavo Pico. And there's another spare one uh, for the frame. Yep, yeah, as you can see right there. And then the wax nail one, be uh, comes with one antenna but the DJI O3 version uh, comes with two antennas if I remember correctly so guys we have the VTX here and um, you need to screw out the thing on the side and then there's the antenna right there and you need to lock it in place to make sure it's in there so it doesn't fall out while you're flying And remember to wiggle it a bit so you know it's properly in there and after you're done that you just put this metal thing on top so it doesn't fly away and then remember there's um, like a lock nut on the bottom and you need to screw in the screw and then on the bottom you need to put the lock nut in So as you can see, we have the Cadex FPV uh, mounted into the frame and as you can see in the bottom of the VTX, we didn't screw on the carbon fiber X thingy. We used the, um, the top holes to screw the camera in, um, but in our final product, we screwed it to the bottom one because we find that um, it's vulnerable to break if you crash it too hard. So, and also the, don't stress the MIP cable too much or or else like, I mean, don't like squish it too much or else, you know, um, it'll be destroyed and you'll be just wasting your money. So, yep, another tip. And then we also move the wires to the bottom of the VTX. So, like um, the MIP cable doesn't stress. So 
so as you can see here we have the Pavel Pico frame like the semi built one and there's rubber dampers um, for like the VTX and the camera and everything um, so you know it doesn't like jiggle and stuff when you're recording so those rubber uh, stuff that you can sure you can clearly see that screwing but remember to not damage them with your tools because they can be easily damaged so um and another tip for the MIPI cable remember remember this is super duper important remember to not put the MIPI cable um I mean remember to not squish the MIPI cable between the carbon fiber thingy and also the VTX because the VTX will get so hot it can melt the uh, MIPI cables um protection guard thingy and who knows it might catch on fire this is our big mistake we sandwich the MIPI cable between the carbon fiber X thingy and also the VTX and that is bad as earlier what I said once you power on the drone it'll get very hot so our final product um, we put the MIPI cable behind the um, car carbon fiber X thingy so it won't get sandwiched and literally burn. The Pablo Pico is already ready for the walk snail and as you can see it can fit perfectly like the wire thingy can fit perfectly into the walk snail but I don't know if it works with the old one but this one is the V2 one so I'm not really sure if it works if it's compatible with the old one and so the good thing is we don't need to do any um, soldering because if we did it's gonna be pretty, pretty messy as well. So, and also be aware that the wires are really, really short, so you need to reroute it. So, as you can see, this is our nasty finishing product, but this is the one that uh, we initially tested. So, um, we, as you can see, we fixed the wire thingy, and please do not go away. Please, I am begging you, um, because, um since this is the v2 one it has night vision so don't go away we're gonna compare it to the meteor 85 walk snail it's the moment of truth if it will work or not if it will, will work this would be a success and if it will not work then it's gonna be a fail it's working Oh my god! Um, so as you can see, it's the walk snail. And it's flashing. So it should be a sign that it's working. Yeah! The tree part right there, it is really, really dark. So as you can see, it's really amazing how it can actually handle in the dark. So, yep, I hope you enjoy the footage of me flying.
as you can see in this scene, we're comparing the Meteor 85 Voxnet 1S and then the Pavo Pico. It's a really big difference. The Meteor 85 is like a mushy, mushy kind of um, video, but the Pavo Pico is like clean. It's like no mush and stuff. And the, the Meteor 85 has some uh, noise. As you can see in this uh, other example, the Meteor 85 is like uh, very soft, the, the color, but the Pavo Pico is like a very clear image. There's a big, big difference. Um, and I was pretty surprised of, about how bright uh, was it from um, the goggles. this other example the meteor 85 and the Pavo pico but this time i'll let you be the judge so leave it down in the comments section and i want to hear what you think about the